Ontario will play host to the final match of our Saturday triple header, and it is without question the most important match of the season thus far. Cavalry, through their sheer dominance of the Canadian Premier League, have built themselves a nine point cushion at the top. And what that means, anything other than a Pacific victory, will see Cavalry win the CPL Shield. Introducing the teams, Bobby Smyrniotis and Forge have made four changes since their road win to Valor. Expecting them in a 4-3-3, Kwesi Poku, he does return from suspension and is expected to slide into the left-back position. Alessandro Hujabapur, the former PFC man, will start in midfield. For Pacific, it was a thrashing of York United, and that even might be an understatement. Complete and utter domination. So James Merriman, the head coach of PFC, says, I'm not going to touch it, I'm going to leave it alone. It worked wonders. Let's see if they can run it back. Kunle Dadaluk springing Manny Aparicio. Cross first time, leading Daniels in! And it takes just three minutes for the Tridents to find an exclamation mark. Manny Aparicio with a brilliant setup play. And DJ comes through in a big way as the visitors strike first before all the supporters are even sat down. It will be all about the response. It doesn't have to happen immediately, but some kind of control in the attacking third would be welcomed. This is Poku. His cross has run at the back post. And an answer just 90 seconds later. Razard Rama, are you kidding me? Almost a carbon copy. This one took a header instead of a sliding finish. I think you said two minutes ago you were expecting KG. Becker, an outswinger from the corner flank. That was destined for the forehead of Taron Campbell, but a Pacific player beats him to the ball. Brahma sends it what should have been harmlessly away, and that is a high-speed collision, scary, and immediately trainers are being waved over. Chested down along the touchline. Adonai Jury trying to match his man stride for stride. Batty Banga into the box, slipping as the center back and Pasillas hits the post. Half space opens up for Woobs. Darren Campbell, Kwesi Poku. Poku into the box, Penny Batty Banga pushed off the bar, following up is Pasillas. And it's a tap in for Woobens. What an absolute and sensational ball. Poku got it out of his feet from Campbell. Well, it's turned over cheaply. Aparicio through the middle of the park, leaves it for Yates. A touch, a shot, and it's just wide. Friendly fire as that ricochets around and hits Hujapapur in the head. Stays with Pacific in their teals that they've grown to love so much this season. Here's Mane. Oh, Henry flat footed, that didn't miss by much. Wow. Mukumbi will out of the middle. Stefan Yates ahead to Kakuna Mane. A touch, a cross, couldn't finish it off. It was a tap in. Amadume is in some discomfort. Yuzu Rudolph is saying, I saw the foul play, the advantage is still in possession. And up he gets. James Merriman applauding. Oh, look at this. Henry caught it wrong. Tristan Henry just sacrificed the body. He goes hard into the woodwork. He had to commit. Yates on the loose ball. Salou, Finn behind a Batty Banga. Stabs the ball forward. Yates is going to get a second opportunity. And he just grazes the outside of the post on the way by. He's had a couple of ciders now, hasn't he? That one was his closest yet. If he gets a third, statistically it has to go in. Maybe you're going to play Pacific and you don't want to show them anything. Absolutely. Anything you can get, you, get, you get that opportunity if you get 49 points. Borges, just sit down. Hamilton for the icebreaker. Gazdaf denies. Hamilton has to score, and he's done it. It's a goal for Hamilton. It's a goal for Forge. They're going to go second. And I'll say it, Will Kermak. 
The regular season champions for 2023 will be Cavalry FC. Congratulations to Forge, to the boys in orange here. Another glance at the wristwatch. And Hamilton has sprung again. He's going to head it forward. He's going to lift it high. Gastoff has the track back. And Gastoff goes close to that back bar. Five players in the wall. Colongo trying to keep his clean sheet fine. He makes the catch. Forge win this pivotal match at home. They've gone second in the Canadian Premier League table. But right now, you have to think about Tommy Reeldon Jr., the seven eighth gods, Ian Allison, and everyone in Calgary. As Cavalry Football Club have won the regular season championship.